Hello and welcome to this demonstration series on this beautiful day at Castle Archdale County Fermanagh, Northern Ireland. My name is Jason Paul and I'm the Managing Director for Apt Innovations and the creator of our new patented Flow 868 water drainage system. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Flow to drain down your home, holiday home or park home. And while we're at it, I'll talk to you about draining down some other devices around the property, all without you having to pay someone to do it for you. Now there are a number of reasons for doing this such as draining down for winter protection to prevent frost damage, summer draining to clear out any old stale water lying in the water system and then you might want to consider draining down the water system just once a year to cleanse the inside of the boiler. Now it's worth noting that this little trick will save you about 15% on your gas bill. It's also worth noting that as the process is so straightforward and you don't have to dismantle your water system, this gives you the opportunity to use your property right throughout the winter months, quickly draining down and winterizing before you leave. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about drain downs. If you have a property that is left vacant without heat for periods of time over the winter, you'll know that you need to drain it down before you leave. Now, what this basically means is that once you turn off the mains water leading to the property, there is still about five liters of water trapped inside the pipes, which could obviously freeze and burst. So we need to get that water out. It's very simple. If it's not there, it can't freeze. Now traditionally this would be carried out by a plumber or a site engineer, whatever the weather, with a large commercial compressor being dragged around your property over your nice clean carpets. A great expense to you by the way. As a matter of fact I know of some people who have paid us as much as £120 or $180 to have their property drained. So the engineer would try to make a seal between their hand and the tap or faucet with the airline and then try to blow the water in reverse from each outlet back down through the system and out of the drain valves underneath the property. Now although this method has been used for years it now has serious limitations in that it invariably means dismantling parts of the water system such as your boiler and your shower and your toilet is usually ignored. Now I'll explain these limitations as we go through the drain down but just so that you know dismantling your system means that your property will be out of commission over the winter months until it's reassembled again. But using flow the process is different. Instead of pushing the water back in reverse in a direction we would call the wrong way, what we're proposing here is to get access to the water system before it enters the property and then use the compressed air to follow the safe natural flow of the water and push it out of each outlet in a direction we would call the right way. Now following the natural direction of the water there is no need to dismantle any parts of your water system so if you do fancy a wee weekend away during the winter months you simply turn on your water when you arrive and then turn it off again and take five minutes to drain the property before you leave. It's really simple. Let me introduce you to our Flow 868 automated drainage system which is the latest creation from ourselves at Apt Innovations. Now 868 is permanently fitted to the wall in somewhere like the boiler cupboard. It has its own AC supply and this can be plugged into the boiler socket. Basically you don't run both at the same time. It also contains its own very clever little compressor inside. Now this airline at the bottom, um, it travels down through the floor, say under the boiler, along the underside of the property and then it is connected to the mains water pipe just before it enters the property. So the idea is this, once you turn off the water and switch flow on, it will create 15 psi of pressurised air in the water system and then it will stop. Flow is now waiting for you to open a water outlet such as a cold kitchen tap or faucet and when you open it, Flow will then use this pressurised air to safely push all of the water out of the pipe leading to that outlet. The clever thing about flow is that it will sense the water leading to the outlet is gone and the air pressure is dropped so automatically it will restart to build up the pressure again so you can open the next outlet. All you need to do is repeat this process for all of the outlets in the property and your system will be completely drained of about 5 litres of water in about 4.5 minutes. So in short, our mission is to make the draining down process as easy as possible. No more climbing onto your property which is great for people who have decking or in fact have physical disabilities. As a matter of fact the only time you need to go outside is to simply turn off the water and then the rest of the process is all inside in the warmth. Finally, and most importantly, you'll never have to pay anyone again to do it for you. 
Okay, so we want to do our first drain down. So the first thing we need to do is turn off the mains water stopcock here. Now you may wonder about draining the drain valves underneath the property. Well, the good news is, is that we don't need them using flow. So you can easily disconnect them. Remember, flow is going to push the water out of each outlet inside and not through these drain valves. That said, if they are still connected, you'll want to drain them for now until you do disconnect them. So in the fitting flow chapter of the DVD that comes with flow, I'll show you how you can disconnect those and this will save you from climbing underneath the property. Also, if your stop valve is awkward to get at, I'll also show you how you can move that to an easier location also. So I'll just turn off the water here and then we'll make sure that all open outlets inside and out are closed. And that's it. Okay, so we have made sure that the mains water stopcock and all taps or faucets have been turned off and very importantly that the boiler is unplugged and that the toilets have not been flushed. This all makes sure that the system is airtight. Right, so it's time to do our first drain down. So we'll just switch flow on. So now that flow has built up air pressure in the water system, we're ready now to drain down our first tap or faucet. Now, although I'm going to drain the cold tap to begin with, it really doesn't matter which outlet you drain first. So, let's just uh, drain this first tap. So, I'm going to lift my jug, put it in here, and we'll start running. Now, I can show you it running, but I will cover it with a face cloth because I don't fancy getting it all around me. But you can see it on the other camera. And it comes out actually quite gracefully until the very end. Now, as you can see, my jug is filling up. So I'm just going to transfer that into the basin. Let's just drain the hot side. And again, I'll just put the face cloth in front, just in case there's any large splashes. And that's it drained. Now, um, just let me explain something which I think is quite important. Um, now that we have uh, drained this first hot outlet, remember the flow has pushed air and therefore water through the boiler. Now, you'll do this for all of the hot outlets, which in this property means one kitchen sink, two wash hand basins and a shower. And so this means that your boiler is now drained no less than four times. Now I'm referring to the fresh hot water. The central heating loop of water in the radiators will have antifreeze in it and it doesn't need to be drained. Now this is an important fact. First it means that your boiler is drained for winter without you having to touch it and second you're already halfway to cleansing the boiler which will save you roughly 15% on your gas bill. But I'll cover this really easy process in a later chapter in the DVD. So on that let's move off to the bathroom. So now that we're in the shower, this is where flow really proves its worth because by law there are non-return valves fitted in the shower. Now what this means is that water can come out the direction that it was intended but it can't be pushed back in reverse. Now the old antiquated method of pushing water back down through the system and out of the drain cocks underneath, it can't be used here. So an engineer will probably remove the shower mixer block here and leave it on the floor of the shower until spring. This obviously means that the water system and more than likely the property will be rendered useless for half of the year, which is a pity. But this isn't the case with flow, because flow will push the water out of the shower head following the natural direction of the water until there's nothing left but air. And also because there's no dismantling, you're free to enjoy your property throughout the winter months and then drain it when you're finished. So to drain the cold pipe, the first thing we need to do is turn the shower all the way to cold. Now you'll also want to lift the shower head down to stop any water running back into the mixer block. And then when you're ready, you simply turn on the shower. Now when the pipe is drained, just remember to turn the shower off again to seal the system once more. Okay, so we now want to drain the hot and cold outlets at the bathroom sink here, starting with the cold. So again, I would advise that you get a face cloth and hold it over the end of the tap of the faucet just to stop any water spraying around the units or yourself. Again. 
Now something that's very commonly left out with older methods of draining is to drain the toilets and this can have devastating consequences in frost. Now there's a water inlet coming into the toilet at the right side here and that will have water trapped in there also. So we want to get that drained. So once flow has built back up with air pressure, what you want to do is lift the cistern lid off and push the ball cock down. Now you will hear a definite difference between the water coming out and then the air. So let's get that drained now. And that said, any water that was in this pipe has now been removed. Now, we have an ensuite in this property with a toilet and a wash hand basin. So don't forget to drain the two sink outlets and the toilet, just following the same process as before. Now I'll cover the draining of other devices such as washing machines, dishwashers and garden irrigation etc. But I'll do that in another chapter in the DVD. Nevertheless, it's important that we remember to drain any outside water outlets such as this one. So allow flow to build up pressure one last time and then just open the outlet itself. Now I'm not going to use uh, the basin because not everybody actually has an outside uh, tap and I'd rather uh, get an accurate amount in the basin itself. So I'm just going to use this bucket. So you can hear flow building up pressure in the background so we'll just open it up. And that's it, that's the drain down carried out and that should keep you going through to the next season. And of course, don't forget that one of the great benefits of using Flow is that you can take advantage of little winter getaways down at your property. As a matter of fact, when we use ours in winter, it's usually very cold inside. So when we arrive, we simply close all of the taps and then turn on the water and the central heating. It's really that quick I don't even turn the car off. We simply go and get some food while it heats up. So by the time we get back, it's nice and cozy. Then when it's time to leave, we simply just drain it down again and leave all the taps open. It's really simple and straightforward. Now in the DVD that accompanies Flow, I'll show you what way to leave your water system during the winter season and every other winterizing technique you could ever want to know. Also, I'll show you how to drain washing machines and dishwashers and I'll also show you how to cleanse the inside of your boiler without even opening the boiler cupboard door. Now it's worth noting that this should save you about 15% in your gas bill. These skills are very straightforward and once you make a little checklist on a post-it note, you can completely winterize your entire property in about 15 minutes. Now you saw me collect water as we went along here in the basin. So for this property, there's about four and three quarter liters of water. In modern caravans, you should get anywhere from about four to five liters, depending on the water system layout. Obviously lodges and holiday homes will have slightly more. So just so you know, Flow is completely covered by our nine month money back guarantee and our five year parts warranty. So if you do encounter any little problems, at least you know you're covered. So if there's any other advice that you need, please remember to go to the website listed below where you can find our phone number and email address so that you can contact us for support directly. But for now, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. Bye for now.